violence is the answer. You need things to protect yourself, right? To bear arms, Second Amendment is to protect yourself from people that are going to aggressively tell them try to take away your rights. Your first right is your freedom of speech. You guys have taken away my freedom of speech, and I have not taken up arms against you to retaliate against you for taking away my First Amendment. I'm very rational and very lucid. You guys have taken away my First Amendment, and then you come in and lock me up and, yeah, and do all these things to me and stuff, and I've had people threaten me and tell me that other people are threatening to me and would do violence to me to shut up. Yeah, we're going to take away your First Amendment, and we're going to use our Second Amendment to force our Second Amendment right on you to take away your First again. And you did, don't, you don't, yeah, you really are undeserving of any of your constitutional rights because you don't, yeah, if you can't adhere to the first, you might as well just forget all the rest. If you can't let people speak and speak as intelligently and truthfully as they want for us to live in a better world and stuff like that, then you might as well just take all the rest of your rights and throw it into complete fascist anarchy that we still have and continue it. Understood? That's what I thought. You're kind of brave or just crazy. I think I'm mostly crazy. I don't like being brave and I don't want to be brave. Why do you get up and do it? Because I love kids. <laughs> I love kids. I love baseball. <laughs> I love basketball. I love booty. <laughs> I love music. I love food. Did I say I love booty? <laughs> I love big brown eyes. You got a certain kind of cute way of flirting with. Then there are. <laughs> You, oh man, yeah, I love me some, yeah, lovely skin, beautiful shape, dark hair, big dark eyes, smiling at me, making me feel like the king of the world. You find me attractive? Ah, I'm putty in your hands, go ahead. <laughs> Hold a string, and I'll wink at you, I'm your puppy. I'll do funny things, if you want me to, I'm your puppy, I'm just a toy. Just a funny boy that makes you laugh when you're blue. I'll be wonderful. Do just what I'm told. I'll do anything for you. I'm your puppet. That's me. And women know it. My ex, Amy especially. He ain't gonna screw around on me. I can do whatever I want. I'm good. Londa said the same thing to my mom. I can get him to do anything I want. I used to think that too. And with Stephanie never got to that point. She was so abusive and so insecure and so feeling trapped because she was gay that it just got to the point where it's like, you can go. You can go. It's cool. I don't want to keep you here any longer. Love you, gorgeous, beautiful woman. Uh, when you're not making me feel like shit, great and bad, um, no, nah, let's just call it a bad experience and it's, you know, let's just call it that. And, and let's just leave it alone because we can't see eye to eye. There ain't no good guy. There ain't no bad guy. There's only you and me, and we just disagree. Yeah, that's us. And then with Amy, she knew she could, I just know exactly what to ask him to get him to make a promise to me to do the right thing, and I'll come back and screw him off it later. That's exactly what she did. Because she had no intention on honoring in the same way, and her parents didn't, and they don't. And, you know, Be completely honest with me and completely entreat me as fair as humanly possible. Don't let them come after me and come after Crumb with the thing I won't be able to survive. Okay, I won't. Okay, but then return the paper. Oh, I, she didn't say she would or not. She didn't say anything. She just asked me to make the promise not to do it. I did. And I told her family that too when they came. You have to establish trust. And I, and I many times on Facebook, you can come anytime you want to talk to me. You can know how to access me. You know how to access the kids. All you have to do is ask. I'm not going to chase you down. Please come see the kids. You've made no overtures or any signs of trust or intelligence or kindness or anything to come and try to contact us. So I'm not, no, fuck that. I'm not going to chase you down. You haven't shown it. You're not worthy of it. Go away. And then what happens? They sneak in. They've got more money. They do it. They arrange it with the police departments. And Yeah, the way these people work is just utterly and it's just disgusting. I mean, as a law enforcement officer, I would protest. I'd get up and go, you people are fucked. <laughs> you are fucked. You're vile and disgusting, and I have to work with you. I have to live with you and smile at your fucking conniving little bought and sold out, sell the pussy and the dick for a quarter ass every fucking day. I mean, it is drudgery to come in here and deal with your disgusting fucking ass. Every time I have to look at your fucking face, I just want to vomit on it. And I have to get up and work with you every day, and you claim to be the same as me. And you give people like me that get up to be a public servant to do the right thing, to protect my community, make it a safe, loving, kind, protecting, 
nurturing, well evolved and involved community where they just take care of me because of the job that I do. Not that I have to write up tickets, lock up people, and do all these things to justify my existence as a law enforcement officer. You fucking suck. You give us a bad fucking name and I don't ever want to fucking look at you again. You make me fucking sick. God, it sounds like me if I'm my ex. <laughs> and the other girl said, like, yeah. And me and Helen with those, <laughs> we were nicer. It's bad. We can't go, you can't go shop and be thought Hispanic or be Hispanic without people racially profiling you and following you around the store that you're a thief because people perpetuate this shoplifting and this thief type mentality that we all do it and we don't. I don't steal. And I'm a Mexican. I'm Helen Medina and I don't steal. And I don't appreciate being treated like a thief because other people that look like me with similar surnames steal from the stores. It pisses me off. Stop it. I don't like looking like a thief. I get up and I provide for myself and I help provide for myself. I live in this world that I'm given and I try to do it and adhere to the laws and follow the laws and be the best woman I could possibly be. And it pisses me off. And I'm tired of it. <laughs> she, Helen was cool. She's the coolest people ever. <laughs> so I told you, I come into work every morning when me and her would work together and she'd, just be, she'd be sitting there on the desk with Percy Slays. When a man loves a woman, can't keep his mind on nothing now. He'll say, trade the world for the good thing he found. He'll give up all his comforts and sleep out in the rain. If she said that's the way it ought to be. When this man loves a woman. It's really cool. She just minds it. Carlos loves it. If he does, he'd be stupid not to. <laughs> it was cute. We just thought, oh, she's laughing. And then during Christmas, he said, okay, put it on. Just hear those sleigh bells ring, ling, ting, 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 a ling, too. She loved Johnny Mathis. I did, too, and she loves that Winter Wonderland, Sleigh Ride. You know, it was one of my favorites, too, so she put it on. I go ahead, Ellen. They would all get mad. She's going to put on Johnny Mathis. Like, yeah. It's cool. It's Christmas season. Let her put on, let it play. It's like Larry and, uh, and uh, Bob, you know. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> Bob's all like, I don't like that. Let it play. I like that song. I forget, don't know the words. It's not bad. It's not. <laughs> but Larry likes it. Bob, the song's interrupting my groove, man. I was Mac in here. And a, you know, poor Bob's Bob's like, man, every time I start talking, they come in with a song or Larry says, man, I'm like the straight guy. He's the funny guy. And I want you to take this is messing me up, man. You know how they hardly make any Bob. Have you seen a Bob the Tomato? cartoon thing on them. There's Mr. Lunt, there's the French peas, there's the asparagus guys, and there's the yeah. And, and, and Is Bob hardly ever in any of these cartoons? Does Bob play many roles? What about Bob? You see why Bob's pissed? <laughs> it's all about Larry and everybody else. Junior, asparagus, Alfred, everybody. You know, Bob's hardly ever up in any of the shows, man. <laughs> you, you see why Bob's got some issues? They write me out of everything, man. Oh, I had a good part in it. It's uh, Mr. Lunt. They give it to, yeah, it's fucked up. It's messed up. I'm always in. They have that big old look guy. Everybody, except for me. Bob ain't hardly ever in these cartoons, man. Bob gets screwed. I see why Bob's got an attitude, too. The Scoochie now, Bobino. It's funny, you know, but he's like, but he can't. I can dance. I can sing. My name is Bob the Tomato, and I'm pissed. I have to, he needs to get in. He got screwed. He needs to renegotiate his contract. You know what I'm saying? I'm just having fun. But yeah, it's cool, guys. You guys are crazy, man. What else do you want to talk about? Stop messing with Robbie's head. It's funny. Let's get him to do funny things. Let's get him to talk about silly stuff. And Well, I like silly stuff. He said to her, I'd like a cheeseburger. And I might like a meal, shake his way. She said to him, I can't give you either. And he says, is in this burger bell? She said, yes, it is, but we're closed now. But we open tomorrow at 10. It's one of my favorites here. He's cheeseburger. He's a, get that piece of cheese up and fill in the dirty, wipe it off and dust it off for you. You are his cheeseburger. <laughs> it's funny as crap. It's, yeah, it's a cheeseburger song, one of my favorites. It's funny. Uh -huh. He really needed something too much <laughs> for Lenny's bacon and eggs for half price. It's cool. Shut up. I like veggie tails. <laughs> they funny. <laughs> yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. It's a boo song. Very cool. Hey, put you in on bamboo. Does it? Boo, tell me. Bamboo, waving. Mhm. 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 
Sabu, Sabu. I wanted to know what happened too. I was kind of upset. I, 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 I I'm still wondering. Was the hippo injured? Was there? Uh, yeah. I, I'm like Alfred. What happened to the boy and the Sabu? I want to know. Okay. Will they ever finish that story? Will they leave us hanging? And then take us to the lip song with the. <laughs> oh come on! I love my lips. Like, uh, you culturally deprived people. I love you, man. All right. <laughs> Blessings and peace. We'll be back in a minute.